My name is Jay Rahman. I am Professor in Chief of Urology here at Penn State Health. I've been here for 12 years. We're an academic medical center, but we are predominantly in a rural environment and the closest major hospitals and academic medical centers are about 75 to 90 miles away. So what's great about our training is that being part of a large health system, we get all of our referrals from within our own practice. We're the tertiary and quaternary care referral for the community practices. What's really unique about our program is a blend, a blend of general urology, a blend of subspecialty trained urology, and also a spectrum of disease so that trainees get exposure not only to minimally invasive surgery, but also open techniques. My name is Suzanne Merrill, and I am an Associate Professor of Urologic Oncology and the Program Director of our Urology Residency. I have been here since 2015, so now just starting my sixth year. As a program director, my focus has been to make sure resident education and their well-being is central to our mission as a division. And because of this, we have all really been focused on creating a very comprehensive educational curriculum. And this incorporates faculty-given didactics according to their subspecialty expertise and also draws from other areas of medicine such as interventional radiology, medical oncology, nephrology, and radiation oncology. So we get the expertise from those uh, staff as well. I'm Ross Dechter. I'm the professor of urology and I head the division or group at least of pediatric urology. So I've been here at Penn State Health just got a note in the mail for 33 years, as it turns out. So I'm the oldest member of our division of urology. The preceptorship model is essentially a one-on-one -on -one learning experience. So when a resident is with me, they're with me the whole day, every day. Some of my cases may be more suitable for a senior resident as opposed to a very junior resident. So there'll be days when the senior resident, the junior resident swap out, but I may only be working with two residents at a time. They see the patient preoperatively in the clinic, they do the surgery with you, they see the patient postoperatively, there's very good longitudinal follow-up. It also allows us, because of more intense contact with them, to assess their capabilities and allow them to do more once we feel that they're competent enough to do it. From a resident perspective, it's positive because they're doing more earlier, and uh, from a faculty perspective, it's positive because we have a better assessment of their capabilities. My name is Dr. Adrian Sisenko, and I am a fourth year urology resident here at Penn State. I did four sub-I's as a fourth year medical student at some really big programs, top ones in the country. And one thing I noticed was that there isn't a residency program that's got camaraderie like ours. We come in as friends and we leave as best friends. You know, we go to each other's weddings, hang out all the time. We all support each other. The, the variety of different kinds of cases, um, there's definitely no shortage. And, you know, we have fellowship trained attendings who love to teach. And multiple uh, attendings of ours win awards every single year for teaching students, teaching residents. To be honest, I couldn't imagine doing residency in a big city like Chicago, New York, Boston. I would be rounding probably at 2 a.m. if I was living in a major city because of the commute. It's definitely a program that's, you know, up and coming on the rise. We work hard and we make sure people around the hospital know that we do work hard and we have a sense of pride with our, um, with our residency. My name is John Knadler. I'm an Associate Professor of Surgery in the Division of Urology at Penn State Health. I'm also the Associate Program Director of the Urology Residency at the hospital. I've been at Penn State Health for three years on faculty, but I was originally a medical student here. Hershey, Pennsylvania is, uh, I, I think, a little bit of a hidden gem. It is uh, small enough to make your time in residency easy. And while it's nice to have some of the amenities of a big city, residency is a busy time, and having affordable uh, living and easy access uh, to your work life and your home life is valued. That said, it's close enough uh, to get away to bigger places, whether that be New York, Baltimore, Philadelphia. Hershey is a destination town. There's a lot of venues that come through, be that uh, cultural events, music, dining, those sorts of things. Um, and it makes it a, a good diversion on your time away from the hospital. I left after medical school and I came back here intentionally because it's a wonderful place to live and I enjoy it.